the manufacturing sector was met with a snag with the onset of COVID-19. However, manufacturers are looking toward continuing the growth trajectory that the sector began last year. In 2019, manufacturing recorded growth estimated at 8.6%, up from 6.6% in 2018. The sector's contribution to overall real GDP moved from 3.2% in 2018 to 3.4% in 2019. President of the St. Lucia Manufacturing Association, Margaret E.Z., attributes the positive movement to innovation in the sector and an enabling environment created by government. She was a panelist on the GIS NTN series COVID-19 Road to Recovery. The discussion focused on investment and business opportunities. One thing that the government did um, for us, which was very favorable, is um, the VAT, um, paying the VAT at the point of sale rather than at the port. Because um, before 2018, like two years ago, prior to that, we, when, when VAT was implemented, we were paying VAT at the port. So what used to happen to us, we, because of economies of scale, we were not, we didn't, some of us didn't have the capacity to do bulk purchase of raw material because the VAT would increase obviously based on the amount. But now that that was removed, um, um, the Prime Minister at the first meeting with us, you know, that was one of the great things he did for us. We're very grateful for. Um, he removed the VAT at the point of the port and put it at the point of sale. And you know, cash flow is king. Mm -hmm. That's your reality. So that has now enabled us with the increased demand to be able to buy more bulk so increase your working capital, buy more bulk, and you pay the VAT at the point of sale. So when we buy more bulk, that means we get bulk discount, economies of scale, and it's beneficial to us, and it has a domino effect on the consumers. So we're very grateful for that. In 2019, the estimated value of manufacturing production expanded by 6.1% to $340.1 million. The food subsector, which is the second largest component of manufacturing output, contributed most significantly to the growth in total manufacturing production, expanding by 14.4% in 2019 to $103.5 million. Margaret Daisy says the sector's performance during a year when Brexit and the U.S.-China trade war threatened to derail global business, the local manufacturing sector was able to not only maintain stride, but improve its gains. The government has already made a commitment for the, 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 the plans to support local businesses that they will give us what is required, whether it be um, warehouse spacing, whether it be concession, the similar opportunities that are there for foreign investors to come in, it is also there for locals to, to get. And that is very important and we need to remember that. But we need to have that entrepreneurial spirit. We need to be able to decide that we're going to sell our way through the crisis and not just sit back and wait until the government do everything for us. We need to do something for ourselves to be able to sell ourselves through the crisis and then win towards the end.